Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today we're gonna be talking all about interior design trends that you can try in your home to update your space. And when I talk about trends, we wanna make things look classic and timeless so that we're not actually swapping out these, you know, every year. In general, when you're thinking about a timeless trend, we're thinking about things that will last anywhere from five to 10 years. We want it to be timeless so we are not spending money every single year updating our home, especially if we're thinking about large investments in our home, like our flooring or our kitchens. Let's jump into the heart of the home, the kitchen. Recently, we've seen a lot of white kitchens but that trend is actually exiting now and we're going to see a huge return to beige and taupe cabinets and this is because these taupe cabinets and beige cabinets just make our kitchen feel so much more warm and inviting right everyone hangs out in the kitchen we're cooking together we're entertaining and we want our kitchen to look and feel really inviting white cabinets just do not evict that kind of emotion so we're gonna see a lot more softer colors in the kitchen. We can also make some gold or brass cabinetry hardware to make it look a lot more current. And when thinking about the actual style of your door, opt for a shaker style door. This is just a clean line door and it's great because it's very minimal, but it adds a little bit of character to your kitchen. One of the largest surfaces in our home is actually our floors. And this is something that people always overlook. We are looking for a mid-tone floor to make our home look really current. So that means you wanna avoid any flooring that is orange or red tone or anything that even has those gray tones because that is not trending anymore. So we want to have a mid-tone flooring. In my home, I opted for something very neutral. So it is a little bit on the darker side and that's okay because dark flooring is also coming back in style. So when you're thinking about your flooring, think about something that's going to be versatile and long lasting, not just really current and trending. I personally would avoid like the white wood floors. I think those are going to be a very short trend and the mid-tone wood is a trend that's going to last for a very long time. And wood flooring is one of those things that actually is going to last a lot longer than five or 10 years. If you install wood flooring in your home, you're probably going to have it in there for 10 to 20 years. So make sure you choose something that is really timeless, but that looks current as well. A great way to update your space on any budget is actually tiling your kitchen backsplash or your bathroom. Subway tile has been really popular in kitchens and bathrooms for the last 10 years. We're seeing the subway tile be replaced because that subway tile is super, super like modern and it's got those really harsh lines. So we're moving into a an era where we're gonna see a lot more zalige tiles and these types of tiles are a lot more softer they almost look like they're handmade with clay and what's really awesome about them is they're an easy DIY project because you're gonna be um, stacking these tiles one on top of each other you're not looking for a perfect grout line so this is something that can actually be a great beginner project if you're just starting out with tiling now when you're picking your zalige tile opt for like a cream or a beige but i've also seen black zalige tiles look really beautiful no matter what color tile you pick you want to choose a matching grout to go with that tile of course white and cream walls will be really popular in open spaces in living rooms and family rooms like i have in my home when you think about bringing warmth and comfort into a room like a bedroom or a bathroom think about bringing in burgundies and plums there is going to be a huge revival in burgundies and plums and these are just colors that are really warm they're moody and they're comforting this kind of paint color is a little bit more classic but it looks really beautiful done as a half wainscoting across the room you can even use it for color drenching which is when you take the color all the way around all the walls and the ceiling as well along with the burgundies and plums we're also going to see blue as a huge color this year. Both Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore announced their color of the year and they both picked blue tones, although they're on the opposite end of the spectrum. Sherwin-Williams went with a very light soft blue. Benjamin Moore went with a really deep and rich jewel tone blue. Now I use Blue Nova in this bedroom makeover I did and it is so beautiful. I think these blues are going to be really fresh for the next few years in interior design. We've seen a lot of blacks and greens trending for the last few years and now it's really exciting to see a new color come into the paint palette. When you think about making your home look more substantial, think about adding a built-in. Built-ins have been really popular the last few years because they make a room just look so much more high-end and substantial. Built-ins are going to continue to be really popular in living rooms, especially when they're framed around the fireplace with bookshelves on both sides or in an entertainment space with a TV in the middle. But one unexpected trend is that you will see built-ins for desks. Built-in desks have become so popular and this is really because a lot of us are working from 
home and we want a beautiful space where we can also be productive. Now you can do a beautiful built-in with custom cabinetry, but you can also opt to get cabinets from Ikea and make them look high-end by painting them, adding face frames, and making them more custom to suit your personality. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but accent walls will make your home look really dated. Instead of accent walls, we're really thinking about bringing all the colors and patterns into all the walls in the space. So think about having a half wainscoting that goes all the way across the room, and maybe we've got shiplap below that, and a patterned wallpaper. Now, those kinds of really cozy rooms are gonna be a lot more trendy this year, and that is because they just look so much more put together. It looks like you took a lot of time to think about what is gonna look really well in this space from the designer's eyes. Now, if you go into like really high-end homes, you won't see accent walls. If you go to a model home, or even if you go to a showroom for a high-end furniture store, you're not gonna see any accent walls, okay? We wanna stick with something that looks really designed and intentional. Since a lot of us are working from home, we're gonna see a lot more multifunctional homes and spaces that are gonna be really trendy this year. So I'm talking about, let's say, a laundry room and a mudroom. So you've got your laundry room stacked with mudroom lockers beside it, or your dining room, that's also your kitchen. So instead of a small island you're opting for a large kitchen island where you can entertain and eat as well so these types of spaces will be really popular and if you're thinking about doing any major renovation where you're going to be tearing down walls or reconfiguring your home think about how you can make your space more multifunctional along with built-ins another trend that we're going to see is a recessed wall look so recessed wall looks is essentially taking a wall that you have cutting it out and adding some type of beautiful wood shelves in there to display your decorative items or things that you might collect now i know this seems kind kind of like a trend that you might have seen in the past. Well, yes, it's totally an ode to that trend and it's actually not that hard to do. You have to locate the studs in your wall and you can cut your drywall out and frame it. One space that you're gonna see these being really popular is in the bathroom. So either you're gonna see these in the shower as an inset where you can put your shampoos and conditioners or additionally, you might see them next to your bathroom vanity where you can put you know, your toothbrush, your lotion and a few cute decorative items. One small thing that you could do today to to make your home look much more current with the trends is to paint your window frames black. Now, we've seen these black window frames be really popular for the last few years, and this is a trend that's really gonna stay. It looks a lot more modern and minimal, and it's not hard to do at all. All you need to do is tape off your window frame from your wall, and then give it a good coat of paint. Now, this looks just way more high-end and trendy because you're actually drawing your eye to a window, which is usually a great feature in your home. Trim is usually an overlooked space in your home, and so painting it makes the home look a lot more intentional and high-end designed. A lot of us focus on the furniture or the walls in our home, but we tend to forget the ceiling. Now, ceiling design is gonna to continue to be really popular this year. I love a good ceiling. Like in my home, I've got one level with the flat ceilings, which is in my living room and my kitchen area, but my basement had a popcorn ceiling, which I just don't love. Instead of going through the painstaking process of actually like taking off that popcorn, I covered it up with shiplap. So this is a great way to add a feature to something that I just didn't like. Co-free ceilings will be really popular this year that just always looks really high-end and it looks so intentional because it's not something that anyone can just do but if you don't have the skill or the budget to do a covert ceiling opt for a painted ceiling in the same color as your walls or a wallpaper that looks really high-end and really draws your eye up that's the whole point of bringing these features into the ceiling is that it makes the room look taller because you're looking at the ceiling. Rounded furniture is gonna be really popular this year. And I'm gonna say this with a caveat because not everyone wants to spend money on current trends in furniture because furniture tends to be really expensive. Usually we buy furniture as an investment piece, but if you're looking to update just a few pieces in your home, I think that an armchair is a great way to update your home and make it look current with this trend. So swap out your armchairs that might be really bulky or maybe you've got a lazy boy and it's time to get rid of that anyways with a nice rounded armchair. And the reason why this is so popular is that it's because it's just got that really nice shape. You sit into it and you feel really cozy. Another way to bring the rounded trend into your home is by swapping out your dining room chairs. So you don't have to swap all of them out, but maybe you can swap out the two that go on the ends. And that just makes it look a lot more current and high end. Along with rounded furniture, we're gonna see a huge trend in architectural arches. So this means that you're adding an archway anywhere in your home, like an arch doorway, or maybe in a hallway. And this is just a really beautiful way to soften up the space because instead of thinking about square corners, we're having a rounded doorway here. 
If you love this arch trend, but you can't commit to, you know, changing out your hallway or doing that DIY, you can actually buy an arch cabinet. And this is going to make your home look really current and trending because these types of cabinets are beautiful to display, you know, your collection pieces, your dishware, and they just add a really nice statement piece into your living space. Feminine wallpaper is going to be really popular this year. And when I say feminine wallpaper, I mean wallpaper with small prints and we're talking about a lot of florals. And that's just a really beautiful trend that you're gonna see it's a way to make your home look a lot more cozy and it's actually on the opposite end of minimalism because in minimalism we don't want any of those like tiny things but we're just that minimalist trend is just exiting this year so you don't have to worry about that at all so before I close off let's talk about how much of your home should be timeless versus trendy so this really depends on how much budget you have how comfortable you are with DIY and how easily you can change things out in my opinion the things that should be timeless are like your floors your kitchen cabinets but the things that are easy to swap out would be your paint, wallpaper, and furniture. And those are the things that I would say should be more trendy. So have fun with these trends. And I'd love to know which one of these are you going to do in your house. And I'll see you next time and we'll talk more DIY and design.